Good morning and welcome to today's episode of The Daily Light. So happy to be here with you. I know it's been about two weeks since the last episode, but God doesn't stop acting in our lives and life certainly does not stop. In fact, it can get pretty complicated, right? And this is what I wanted to talk to you guys today. I've recently been talking to a lot of people that are going through issues, life issues, let's say relationships, careers, financial when these things happen, our reaction is to hide. I mean, even, I love the example of even just in church. In church, people that have been away from church, they usually go to the back, right? No one sits right up front, close to the priest, right? Everyone usually stays back. And that's, that's what we tend to do. When we're going through things, we retreat because we give up. Every time that you retreat, it's that you're pretty much giving up. You've lost hope because only a fighter, someone that has the mindset of a fighter, of a champion, of getting over it, is going to stay in the ring and keep going no matter what, right? But most of us retreat. And this is what happened to the prophet Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 19. So um, Elijah feared for his life. There were some prophets that were killed and Elijah thought that he was next. So it says that he fled and he ran away and he actually ran under a tree and just hid there. But what happened was that God wasn't done with him. God needed him to build up his strength and get to work. So it says that God sent him an angel. God sent him an angel and said to the angel, here's some food and drink. Get up, eat and drink. So then Elijah took a little bit of the food and then he went back to sleep. He stayed there. But that messenger came back and said, no, Get up and drink or you're not going to be able to survive this. So Elijah got up. It says he he ate and he drank. And then he had the strength, it says. He got up, ate and drank. And then strengthened by that food, he walked 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. So that's what happens to us in our lives. That we have people that come and try to tell us, you know, get get back up get back into the swing of things, but then we hide. You know, we try to resist that, and that's what Elijah did. He tried to resist that call. He tried to stay away. He tried to stay away. And instead of, like, eating and drinking, sorry, I had a little distraction. Instead of eating and drinking and filling himself up, he wanted to stay away. And how many times don't we do that? How many times doesn't God put people in our life that try to offer us nourishment for our souls try to answer us try to give us the tools we need to get out of our situation but we resist that maybe it's pride maybe you feel like you don't need any help and you just want to stay where you are because you've already given in to your situation and feeling like nothing matters as a matter of fact it even says that elijah said to god enough lord take my life for i am no better than my ancestors don't you say that don't you say like what does it matter I'm not worth anything anyway. I know a lot of you do. But that's that's not going to get you anywhere because God has bigger plans with, for you. And I know there's people in your path right now that God has put in your way that have said to you, come on, get up, let me help you. Why don't you try this? Why don't you do that? And you're not listening. The journey is a long one. It's going to be hard. But that doesn't mean that you have the right to give up. You know, Elijah is one of the most important prophets in all of the Old Testament. But he would have never fulfilled his journey if he decided to give up at that moment. So don't you dare give up when things are hard. Listen to the people God has put in your path and nourish yourself. Nourish yourself. Come back into the support system, to people that help you. Go back to your church and be fed because it's what your soul needs to keep going on your journey. So pray about that today. Ask God to really show you who those people are that are going to help you nourish yourself again, nourish your mind, body, and spirit to complete the journey and do what you need to do. And share this video with anybody that um, it reminds you of, anyone that you're praying for right now. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Thank you, Wendy, for tuning in. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, so keep going. The journey's far. I always think about Jesus. As hard as life gets, sometimes none of us have been sent to a cross to die innocently, right? None of us. 
So no matter what life throws at us, and I know, Rebecca, like you've had it really tough lately, no matter what life throws at us, God is with us and God will always give us what we need every step of the way to complete our journeys. So make sure you complete yours today. And you can also be that messenger for people. Don't forget that there's people that God has also put in your life for you to help. Never deny doing good for someone if it's in within your reach. Have a blessed day, guys.